Hello! Welcome to episode 21, Venture Ventures Descent into Avernus campaign. We're back after a week and a half off, and we're all quarantining. I assume you're quarantining if you're listening to this or looking at this in the future. I hope we're all alive. And on that note, let me do a recap of our last episode. Uh, Previously, the Bean Squad had summoned, had thrown a bean from Magic Bag of Beans out and uh, summoned, or I guess it's grown, a pyramid 60 feet square. Uh, which housed a mummy lord, and this was all inside the realm of Mad Maggie, the night hag, uh, inside her fort, and uh, after that, they did some favors for some people around the fort to try and get in good with Maggie and hopefully get a get some rations, get maybe a magic item, maybe a pearl... Uh, for uh, some certain spell, and uh, was largely, not largely successful. They were partially successful in most of them. Uh, got into his fights with red caps, because red caps are horrible, and uh, then went on a dream quest with Lulu the Holophant, who turns out was once the steed of Zeriel, the current Archduke of Avernus, um, went on a dreamscape to unlock more memories. They were successful at that, and uh, then proceeded to have some negotiations with Maggie, and I think you got your pearl, Jarvis, right? And, um, got some rations, you got some soul coins, if my memory serves me. I actually didn't get the pearl. Uh, Kairos realized that he can do identify, so I took the two spells instead. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Uh, (laughs) Kairos. And Kairos negotiated (laughs) shrewdly, uh, in my opinion. And uh, had his horns turned into baby arms, which are fully functional baby arms, as much as baby arms can function. Sure. Um, <laughs> sure. They're not going to be wielding a great axe. Mm, no, that's fine. Uh, but uh, now he's a certain kind of weird looking tiefling without horns, arms instead of horns. And that's where we left off. Beautiful, Maggie says, as she's admiring her work on your head, Kairos. How many rations do we get just for my character sheet purposes? I already added them to you to your oh, cool. sheet, Dave. Thank you. Tell me how many you have. Uh, I gotta pull it up. Okay. Uh, There's and... also a, a, an important reminder, important uh, note for Dave. You have a ring in your inventory. Um, we learned what it did. Right. Mm. If anybody wants to take it from there. (laughs) Oh, yeah. The the, the ring um, is a ring of invisibility that makes you invisible and visible at the same time. So it makes you invisible, but it also casts permanent fairy fire on you, which happened last time. I believe it was last episode. Yeah. Um, And uh, so it's a cursed item. But they got. You're not cursed. We broke your curse. But you still have the um, ring because you looked really beautiful when you were an invisible creature that was just outlined and like highlighted a shimmery. I'm gonna go ahead and guess that the (laughs) there were at least three precious jokes last episode. Precious, Mark? No, actually, say there was none. (laughs) Ah, all right, I lost. Man. (laughs) <laughs> um, but you certainly can make them now because you have that ring and if you want to be pretty again but invisible but pretty you can put it back on hold it hold it so it made me uglier 
No. No, it made you invisible, but you are highlighted in an outline of shimmery, glittery light. If, if I'm like, wearing it. Yeah. If you're wearing it, yeah. yeah. It casts invisibility as well as curses you with fairy fire. <laughs> Which yeah. counteracting the invisibility. <laughs> it just have some sort of... It, it like, gives advantage on it's... attacks against you. if you're. Ca- that's what fairy fire does. So if you're invisible, um, typically it would do exactly what it sounds like, but this kind of counteracts that, and fairy fire is the direct counter uh, spell to in- invisibility. It's just a cursed item that you pulled out of the mummy lord's tomb. Yep, and it's in your inventory. Your it does welcome. give me advantage on attacks? No, no, no the opposite. No. On you, <laughs> attacks on you get advantage if you have if you that's use the curse the part of it yeah it's all bad really there's nothing good yeah. about it <laughs> there's okay, no, I was there's gonna no say, like, we're, I'm not seeing a lot in column con i'd also <laughs> appreciate if you didn't put it back on because i have to waste another spell slot on you <laughs> it outlines you in a pretty light that's the only positive and mechanically that's a horrible thing but <laughs> as far as pretty lights go you look yeah, real nice kind of, kind of perfect for jerry he's kind of <laughs> That's what we thought. He's kind of cool. He, he <laughs> puts a premium on being cool. It definitely made you that. Uh, and uh, you guys were about to head out with Chuck and Clonk. Oh, so I'm awake now with my hands. Hey, guys. Yeah. Hey guys. Hey, guys. Check it out. Watch what I can do. And I just start making the hands go like this, alternating. <laughs> so creepy. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. I wonder and if the, I can juggle. And then that was crepit and just kind of. Uh, Jerry just goes like this to one of the hands. Would you goes, like to see if you can juggle these beans? And he, uh, the hand gets you back, Jerry. Uh, I probably don't want to juggle the beans, uh, but I, I might want to hold on to one of them. When we get in a fight, get in a pinch, you know, I could just you know, drop it. True. Give you a bean. It is my hand. Does it hold the bean? Yes, it does. Oh, sweet. Where should we go next? I feel like it's going to get really tired holding this bean. Why don't you put the bean back in the bag for now? And, uh, oh, no, I'll, <laughs> I'll hold on to one bean. Good, because I already <laughs> took it out of my inventory. I, I pocket one bean. Okay. You guys want to use one of those soul coins and fire up the the giant monster eater? We were going to help go Chuck and Clonk because we haven't done that yet, Jerry. I Which think. also involves Speaking. using the soul coin in the car, so everybody wins. Was that oh, Lulu yeah, that's speaking? True. Yeah, that's Lulu. Okay. Lulu, how you feeling? Well, I think I know where we need to go after we do the favor for Chuck and Clonk. I think... Yeah, I'm pretty sure I know where the sword is now. Oh, that's Whoa. good. That's good news. How but far is it? I think it's over the river, and then okay. it's just <laughs> on the, the other side. Over the river sticks. Okay, so we got a soul coin to get us over the river now. Yeah, but we can't take the car on the boat. Correct. I wonder if, is there a bridge? You want to ask Mad Maggie? They did describe a, uh, something Chunk, under Chuck, a bridge. Uh, uh, what? Pardon me, uh, Jarvis? I do remember noting that there was a dr- wooden drawbridge that separated... Did so, or no, that was something else. Hold on. I, I remember think that was part of the directions that we got to the heads. Yeah. That were completely improvised. and Yep, under a bridge, past the The irre- yeah. irrevocable suck sack and go under the snot river of yeah. regret. There you go. Yeah, that one. I remember there was a bridge in that above <laughs> that, that snot river. Yeah. No, not not that bridge, Jarvis. The bridge over... Uh, is there a bridge over the river The, the river Styx? What? Yes. Chucka, clonk. Uh, Chuck and Clonk. Chuck and Clonk No, nothing... That I know of. Is there a way to get a one? Is there a way to get our uh, car over the river? Well, we usually just jump them across if we can. Uh, oh, there you go. That sounds like that a sounds, blast. That sounds better than a bridge. We usually leave uh, or lose one of them, though, in the process. Well, it won't be ours, so it's okay. We should see the Hezru first, and then, uh, yeah, we should. Well, on the way, why don't you tell me where, uh, where, you, where, where you can jump the river? We kill Hezru now to fix machine. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 
Yeah, let's head out. I'm ready. I am. Yeah. And I had to like flex my arms and my baby arms, yeah. like go into a little. I'm like, yeah, I'm ready. Yeah. Why am I God, injured? Great. Didn't we sleep? Um, but then we fought <laughs> things. We got, oh, we got that's right. All in the, the, in the dream. Path. That's right. Wait, I thought in the dream. Oh no, the, the dream. The dream. That's what the it was. dream don't count. You can put your wherever it was before. I believe one of you hadn't recovered. I was hurt when I went in already. Yeah. Oh yeah, because you got. I still by... haven't recovered from that uh, necro damage. You yeah, we well we, the curse was removed, Jerry. So we're not cursed anymore, but our HP hasn't been restored yet because that happened in the morning after so, we. Rested. Yeah, so your total HP uh, went back to normal. Uh, does but that your make current sense? HP stayed. My max H, my current HP stayed, but my max is still down though. Should I change that back? What was your max? I thought that went away when I when removed I thought, yeah, the curse. Was, what was your max made... before? Well, I can look that up real easily. So if I go into manage HP, I have like, yeah, a, I... like a negative 13 or something in there that... to, to adjust for the curse. I think when I did remove curse, that would have gone away, no? Yeah, it should have. I thought I changed that. I thought no, because my, my original HP was like 70-something, and I'm at 64. Uh, do you remember what it was, though, specifically? 70-something? I think it's 75 based on my sheet here. Okay, that's fine. Just change it to 75. Um, what was it? Yeah, I had, put, I had put an HP modifier on it, so I don't know what happened to that. But Oh, you, yeah. Well, I was trying to manage your character, so Got I wouldn't it. have yeah. to remember this stuff and uh, things it. get screwed up. What time of day is it? Afternoonish. <laughs> it's hell time. It's oh yeah, hell. there's no su sun doesn't set in hell. <laughs> we rested recently. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and Chucka and Clunk suggest that you take a scavenger and uh, two of you ride on the scavenger with Chucka and Clunk because it has a claw to catch a Hezru, and then two of you use a Devil's Ride, which is a motorcycle type of infernal vehicle. And we have a variety of vehicles now to choose from. You yeah, where are we getting these those. vehicles? Uh, you don't own those. You only have the Demon Grinder. Right. Yeah. But they're suggesting using Maggie's Scavenger uh... and Maggie's Devil's Rides as a way to uh, distract the Hezru and potentially gotcha. capture them so the spikes can be removed while they're um, still alive. And uh, is that is he suggesting to be... leave the demon grinder behind or still take that? Yes. Okay. Wait. Well, we're going to come back here yeah. to return yeah. Maggie's vehicles. Uh, Maggie would be cool with us just taking them. Oh, yes. They. Yes. Yeah, all right. You guys say so. To me. We have to fix. We have to fix the. We have to fix the other machine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, I guess. Uh, who wants to ride what? I can't ride a motorcycle and shoot at the same time. I don't think. Correct. Um, I guess I'll I'll take one of the devil's rides. Okay. You have Can a I... devil's ride in these pinned reference material. Yep, I'm reading it. I guess I should go. I think I can cast while I'm on the, the. Uh, yeah, I should be able to cast while I'm on the motorcycle. I'll go on the motorcycle. Yeah, what's your arcane focus? Uh, I think it is my. His wand. My no. wand in my hand. Okay. Yeah, we'll see. Should work. Yeah. Is Chunk and Clunk coming with us? Yes, Chunk and Clunk. Uh, Helm, Helm, the scavenger, and uh, you, you, uh, use the claw and harpoon. Okay. Sounds good. Oh, somebody gave me a wondrous item. Boost my AC. Oh, we, we also that gave too. you brazers. Got that yeah. boosts your AC. <laughs> I added that. Sweet. See what I happens get... when you leave? You just get I know. with... I'm going to leave more often. 
<laughs> Those are the bracers we've been carrying around since underneath the church. Oh, cool. <laughs> cool. Cairo selfishly, yeah. <laughs> selfishly just held on to. <laughs> and didn't want to use identify himself. Where do you have identify from? Who? Kairos. Me? Oh, I just, uh, well, I mean, I identified the sword and we identified that ring and, uh, Oh yeah. <laughs> it seemed like it worked pretty well, so I love I this. It, 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 oh I'm very happy. Oh. You do not know this. If Great. if if Gary Great. got confused about it, there's no way Jarvis didn't get confused Great. about it. <laughs> there goes another oh, I can't believe shot. nobody challenged me on it oh, when I said it last Great. session. <laughs> Great. The fuck do I know? I'm a ranger. Fuck. I love it. Um, <laughs> Gary, out of game, thought that because that he's a paladin and can do some magical shit, that he had some way of doing it. But I he guess knew. I don't. Or, I don't know if Jarvis or told really... me what the sword does. I'm he puts it on. Yeah, he uses it. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. God damn it! It's hard to play a wizard when your attention <sighs> gets pulled other places, and you get distracted sometimes. But it makes it fun for me. And, uh... Well, I just believed him. It wasn't about being distracted. Uh, no, a terrible it... idea. You can believe Brian. Don't believe anything Cairo says. That's ridiculous. <laughs> it's it's a little it's a little bit of because I knew at the time I remember what Kairos was doing and what he meant by identifying because he had just used yeah yeah so it just attuned and identified something. Son of a bitch. Uh, awesome. It's going to be great when Jarvis anyway. hands you something to identify. So who's... Uh, and I'm going to do a great job identifying. <laughs> yeah, it's just going to take him an hour, not ten minutes. Um, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So I'm on a devil's ride. Who's else? Who's Jarvis doing what? Jarvis is on a devil's ride. That yeah, means you two then... are on, on the scavenger yeah. with Chuck and Clon. I'll take the harpoon. I'm good at shooting. You're muted there, Jer. I just want to be in, in control of the, the wrecking ball. Even okay. better, you're in charge of There's the claw. The claw, <laughs> yeah, because you're not taking the demon grinder. So mm. who's on the devil's ride with me? No one. Uh, you. You're on your oh, own. We have our own it. bike. Cool. The stat blocks for each vehicle are in the pinned reference materials. Beautiful. So you can see what a devil's ride does, and you can see what the claw attack is and such. <clears throat> cool. Uh, so you head out, and it doesn't take you much time. Uh, about 160 feet out, uh, you see two large amongst the dust and the various rubble and rocks. Uh, you see two very large kind of lizard-like creatures that were described to you by Chucka and Clonk. And they're kind of roaming together looking for things. One of them grabs a lemur and start smashing it on the ground and then once they hear you guys coming they turn around and start sprinting at you and uh that's where we will roll initiative Could i have cast mage armor in time when i saw them sprinting towards us yes cool. what did you call them hezru hezru or were you asking for a description no yeah like what type of creature is it oh fuck I... it's a demon Oh, okay. Cool. This harpoon, these harpoons don't have ropes attached to them, right? They're just damage dealing harpoons? Correct. Oh, I might as well just use my bow. Fuck the harpoon. Well, that's usually the uh, the case. Kyra, switch your initiative. 10. Jarvis? Natural 20 plus 2. Uh, Jerry? 18. Roller coasters. Fifteen. All right. Oh fuck you! I'm using this combat tracker. Um. On D and D Beyond. Huh. And uh, I need everyone's initiative again. I'm sorry. Kairos. Ten. 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 Jarvis was 22. Yep. Jerry was 18. Yep. Rollercoaster was what? 15. Okay. 
All right. So Jarvis, you up first. So for the Devil's Ride, it's it, basically all of its actions, if I'm reading correctly, is just like dicking around and doing stunts. There's no like um, attack or anything it does, right? Uh, not that I can tell. Um, cool. You might. Uh, Chuck and Clonk suggested that you use those to distract or um, yeah. taunt if you can't figure out a way to distract. Cool. I'm just trying to read it. Uh, yep. Uh, being in the car thing with Chuck, I'm in the. They're driving the scavenger, right? Yes. Yes. I'm going to ask them, uh, do we have to take this thing alive? Yes, we don't want damaged spikes. Oh, okay. Oh, got it. Damaged gear, damaged spikes. Noted. I'll put him to sleep for you. Oh, wait, I can't talk to you guys. I'm on a completely different vehicle. And it's very loud. And yeah. you have some sweet-ass goggles that someone left that you're wearing maybe the coolest wizard on the planes at this point looking you ready cool. Jarvis yeah um, I'm just going to do something else and, and use that my next turn uh, for now I'm just going to start in a straight line just getting ready to be uh, to, um, to where I'm 30 you can get within to where 40. I'm about 40 feet away from him. Yep. Um, I'm so I'm going to go to where I'm about 40 feet away. And for now, I'm only going to. There's two of them, by the way. Yeah, I'll go for the closest one. Okay. What are you going to do? And I'm just going to, for now, um, fire off a um, a lightning bolt or a fire bolt at the guy okay. closest. Have at it. Um, I'm not going to do anything unless a 10 hits. No, no. All right. And I'll stay about 40 feet away. Jerry, you're on the, on the scavenger. All right. I just use all my uh, speed to get as close as possible. And I fire a harpoon. Uh. You can't quite. You're at 160 feet, so you're you're relegated to that because you're on the scavenger scavenger. <laughs> so the scavenger. Uh, uh, okay, I'll just get as close as I can. Uh, how, far, how far can the harpoon shoot? 120. Yeah. So you're not quite within range yet. You, if you yeah, want. Yeah. So I'll just I'll just ready that as a okay. reaction. All right. Cool. Rollercoaster. I ready a spiked growth spell for when we are a little bit closer to it. Okay. So I only now. need 10 more feet. So. Okay, the Hezru at Jarvis shot a firebolt at uh, is going to use all of its Movement and action to sprint 60 feet, which will put it within 100 feet, so that should trigger harpoon and spike growth. Yes. Jerry, you can go first. So do I... So the uh, the scavenger has a strength plus 5. Do I add that to the harpoon, or do I do a dex? Do I do a plus 1? It says in the harpoon thing, I think. Yeah, it says in the harpoon thing. Um, it says range weapon attack is plus six. Yeah. So you're not using Jerry's. Yeah, yeah. I was trying to use the uh, the scavengers. Yeah. So just plus six to the roll. Yeah, plus six uh, to the roll. And yeah. Then... So I didn't get it. I rolled an eight then. Plus I rolled a two plus six eight. Okay. Uh, that will not hit. Uh, all right. What's spike growth doing? It's a 20-foot radius centered on a point, and the point will be where he is standing. Okay. Uh, it creates an area of difficult terrain for the duration, which is concentration up to 10 minutes. Uh, when the creature moves into or within the area, it takes 2d4 piercing for every 5 feet it travels. Okay, so it takes it right now, or...? Whenever it's moving. Okay, just only when it's moving. Okay. Yeah. All right. 
Kairos. I'm going to run my engine, and I just... Can I dash in a vehicle? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, so not the one the one that's still farther away, I guess, not the one that just got spike growth. Yep. Um, I head towards that one, um, and I believe I have to dash to get anywhere even close to it. Yep. Um, but on the second movement, I'm going to use 10 feet of my movement to... That stat block go oh, to do a stunt. Um, okay. I'm just gonna pop a wheelie and blast out the engine to make a loud noise and try to get that Hezru's attention. Okay, m- make and a... Then a DC 10 dex check. Yep, woo, that's a pass. I rolled a 17 plus what? No, 17. And um, then, um, I would like you to make a a charisma check just a general charisma check sure well that's good 11 okay uh it snarls at you and uh doesn't seem to be uh chasing after you as far as you can tell okay that's my turn is now that one's turn. It's going to run 60 feet as well and get closer to everyone else. Jarvis, it's back to your turn. Is there any, like, uh, mounds or anything within 40, 60 feet, I'd say, that I can use to jump over them? Um, sure. I mean, yeah. Uh, you're gonna attempt to jump over them that's gonna be mm-hmm. your stunt okay yeah i'm gonna attempt to jump over to them where i'm landing like right like maybe 10 feet away from them and then kind of just okay. kind of like a distraction type thing yep say hello to them not me look over there look, look. Oh. you roll your decks for jump it doesn't it only has Dex for stunt, it doesn't say what the dex is for the jump. It just says the devil's rider moves at least 30 feet in a straight line. It can clear a distance of 60 feet, jumping over chasm, ravine, or other gap. Each yeah. foot it clears, costs a foot of movement. I would say it's... Um, I say, I would say this is a stunt. Okay, cool. Then I will use the same DC-10. Um... What am I? Dexterity plus four. Twelve, so I pass. Yep. And make a charisma check. Oh, plus uh, four. I am or the devil's right is? You are. Okay. A charisma check or a save? Check. Uh, 19. Okay. Uh, this one is going to turn its attention towards you. All right. Jerry, you want to shoot another harpoon? Muted. Sorry, I was looking at Discord. Um, yep. I want to move the opposite direction and try to like circle them. You're not in control of the vehicle, so you're pretty at, oh, much at okay. mercy of uh, Chuck and Clonk who are helming this vehicle. You can harpoon. Uh, you're currently yeah. at a harpoon station, or you can. I'll harpoon some. again. Okay. That would be a twenty-four. Yes. Nice. Two D eight plus something. Yeah. It's two D eight plus one. Nice. Uh ten. Okay. Rollercoast. 
Uh, is it still in the spike growth? Yes. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to pull out my bow and give it two sharpshooter shots. Okay. Uh, it's a 21. Yep. And a 24. So 16 damage. And 17 damage. That's the first time that one took any damage, right? No, it took the harpoon damage just It took now? the harpoon damage. Two. Got it. Uh, all right. It snarls. These things are getting pissed off, but um, seemingly frustrating. Frustrated that you guys are keep shooting them from a distance. All right. Is now that one's turn, and it's going to run after Jar or Jarvis uh, and move out of the. So it's difficult terrain, so he's got half movement. Does he go the entire 10 feet out? 15? Or 15 feet out of the 20 foot radius? Yeah. Yeah? So that's 2d4 for 5 feet, so 64. Thirteen damage. Okay. That'll be its turn. Kairos. I'm going to uh, <clears throat> drive up alongside Jarvis. As I'm doing so, I'm going to pull out a hempen rope out of my bag. I'm going to try to get his attention and give him, or throw him, try to get him one end of the hempen rope so that we are holding a length of 50 feet between our riding motorcycles. <laughs> yeah, He figures out what I'm thinking with this, because I can't talk to him. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, make, make your athletics check, and okay. I'll say it's the same for you, Jarvis, to catch it. Is my this athletics... my reaction, or is this... Yeah. Okay. My athletics is uh, 26, so I threw it really well. Can I right use acrobatics there. to catch it? Sure. Okay. I'm hitting you right in the hands. <laughs> Hit him in the face. Eight. Yeah. Um, I was. I'll say you're. You. You. It hits you in the face like you go like this. <laughs> but it's such a good throw that it kind of wraps on you, and you're able to kind of like, like, like grab it. Grab it. Um, so remember, you two have some rope on you, <laughs> yes. and you're traveling. Now we're, riding, now we're a connected vehicle. <laughs> yeah. All right. Anything else, Kairos? Uh, no. I think that's all I can do. <laughs> now, now I'm hooked to Jarvis, and we can only move in tandem. <laughs> um, well, it's 50 feet, so, and we're right, we're 10 feet away I, from one of them. I, I gave him the lead. That was my turn. This, uh, next Hezru is going to uh, make a run for these bikes that are now connected and is going to make it within 10 feet, but not quite there. All right, 10 feet. Currently within 10 feet of you guys, Chucka and Clonk do that. Is that lizard? Is that the one that has the forty-something damage already, or is that a different one? It's a different one. Okay. Um, you're now within range. Your hook is within range. Who, whoever's at the uh, claw grabber thing on your machine. It can be me. I... Well, you've been on the harpoon. I thought it was Rollercoast. Yeah, yeah, I haven't okay. used it yet, but I'm there. Okay. Um. Yeah, so you're within 15 feet of one of these things. Okay. Should I do that on my turn, or do you want to know? Um, you do it on your turn. Okay. Jarvis. Jarvis now having this rope in his hand, he's gonna do. He's gonna kind of like do a burnout around uh, 
the Hezaru that's 10 feet away. Mm -hmm. And he's going to kind of, like, go under... He's, he's going to kind of, like, try to, like, wrap the wrap him by going around him, but, like, kind of duck under the rope so he doesn't catch himself. Yeah, this is as all he goes stunts. Right, right under... Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Right, as he goes under the other rope that Kairos is holding, he's going to yeah. try to go around him. So two stunt checks? Yeah. Cool. Shit! <laughs> I'm not really good. That D20 is going in jail. Um, so the first stunt check was a... Uh, nine, which does not pass. Yeah. Um... And I guess the second one would be for me dodging the rope and not trying to wrap myself up in it. Uh, I think the second one... Or would that be the first the burnout one? burnout fails. It fails. Oh, so the burnout fails and the second one doesn't happen then. Correct. Oh, I was, I was thinking you fell prone, but you didn't fail enough for that. Yeah. So. It just doesn't yeah. happen. Continue on. Yeah. So that's it. Yep. Jerry, you have you're within fifteen feet of these roller coasts. Use the claw. Okay. Do you want a harpoon or anything? Or are you just gonna hold? Can I do that? And then, I mean, it would seem that if I can use the claw, I'm not aimed at the devil or the uh, demon. It would take your action to leave your station and get situated in a new station. No, I'm just saying that since I don't have control of the direction that it's... Is the harpoon just like I can move it all around? Yeah, like, yeah. Okay, I'll just harpoon it again. Okay. Which one, the hurt one or the non-hurt one? Whichever one we're closest to that's about to get clawed. Okay. Uh, 13? No. No. I have five harpoons left. Okay. Or seven, maybe. Yeah, that's ten, I think. Rollercoaster. I claw it. Okay. Are you clawing or, the weak one or the one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the weak one. The one in your uh, brambles or whatever? Yeah. So that would be 17? 17. 17. Yes, that hits. So he's grappled. It is restrained until the grapple ends. All right. It's a DC 12 to escape. Okay. Uh, it is now that one's turn. It's going to try to escape. It fails. And um, now you have control of one Hezru, one within 15 or 20 feet of the other. You're all within close range. So, if you're going to want to do surgery on this restrained Hezru, Chuck and Clonk tell you, lead the other one away. Basically, for obvious reasons. Okay. Kairos. Uh, seeing Jarvis spin out in place instead of doing the cool burnout he was trying to do, I'm gonna, I, my plan was to burn out in the other direction, so I'm going to keep doing that. So I'll roll my stun check for okay. basically what he described. <laughs> wow, and I fail miserably. <laughs> um, I do go prone. <laughs> that, was, that was a three, so I skid out. Um, and me and rash. my machine are prone. Yeah. What size creatures are these dudes? Large. Okay. Um, let's see. So that, uh, well, if I hadn't used all of my movement, I would stand up, but that's about probably all I can do. Yeah, that's all you can do. <laughs> uh, it's now the unhurt Tezru's turn. He's going to go after you, Kairos. Reasonable. <laughs> I seem vulnerable. And it's going to multi attack. Two. Nat twenty on the bite. Ouch. Yeah, that's a bummer. <clears throat> uh, miss on the claw and uh, hit on the second claw. Twelve on the claw. And 16 on uh, piercing damage on the bite. 
So 12 and 16, 28 total? Yep. Hmm. Okay. Jarvis. Uh, Kairos, are you still holding onto the rope as you fall off the bike? I'm going to say no. no. <laughs> okay. I will also say no. <laughs> okay. Um... And especially after getting mauled. No, the rope is the least I still of my got the rope, guys. The <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm going to... I'm going to give Kairos haste, which would give him two attempts at his next try. It'd be able to get, he'd be able to use his action to kind of get back on the, yeah. I'm going to give Kairos haste on this. Okay. Hoping this will work. Um, I'm going to give Kairos haste, and I'm going to get just in a position where I can set up to do it again once he has the rope again. Okay. And I'm going to start going in the direction away from, like, drive in the direction away from the other Hezera, too. Okay, so how far away do you want to be from the one that's not clawed? The one that's not uh, captured? 50 feet of hemp and rope. I'm going to go 30. How far away is Kairos from him? They're within melee. Cool. I'm going to go about 30, uh, 25 feet. Okay. All right. Jerry, you see one is captured. Yeah, I'd like to. Sh uh, I was going to ask you, can I can I still do my extra attack even though I'm in a vehicle? No, if okay. you're using the vehicle, yeah. Okay, uh, I'm going to try to harpoon the one that just attacked Kairos. Okay. Mm, Eleven. Nope. Relicos, you have this thing grappled and restrained. It is now ready to be operated on, if anyone would like to do that. Yeah, that's. Um, I'm going to put my bow away and take out one of my swords and try and like get on this thing's back. Okay. And then attempt to remove a spike. Make a sleight of hand check. Am I good at that? Eh. And as you get within 10 feet of this thing... Uh, Make a DC 14 constitution saving throw. Okay, so that was a 17. Okay. Uh, the con save is 14. Perfect. The stench is overwhelming, but you're able to gird yourself and not heave everything you've eaten in the last 12 hours. Uh, and you are able to, what was your check again? 17. 17. You're able to get one spike. Sweet. I'm just going to hang on to this dude for dear life as I'm, as I'm trying How to How many more. spikes do we need? Three. Okay. That's it for me. Okay. Ezra's turn. One sec. Uh, that's captured. Just gonna try to get out. Come on. It just manages to get out. Is and I'm like writing it. It's a 12, right? Yeah. Yeah, so you're partially on this claw, partially on this thing, so I'll let you use your reaction to stay on the claw rather than go down with the falling. I'm going to go down with it. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ride him, or attempt to. Okay, yeah. Make a uh, deck save. See if you go prone. 16 plus... That's uh, 12. Or, sorry, not 12. 22. Yeah, you're good. That's how math works. Kairos, make a constitution saving throw. It's your turn. It's a... Uh, not 20 for a 25. Yeah. What would you like to do? Um, I turn into a beacon of shiny silver light as Horror pumps 30 points of lay on hands on myself. Okay. Jeez. Because... <laughs> uh, you were close enough to see this, but I am wrecked. 
Uh, <laughs> so that feels a lot better. That's my action. Um, and then I have a... I have a bonus action. Or a you have haste a haste action. action. That's what I meant. Haste action, and I will... Hit it. Okay. Yeah. And I think I even do. That is a... 24. Yes. No one's close to me, right? Yeah. No one's close to me. That is a... Uh, 16 points of damage as my shiny, shiny longsword. Oh, it's so nice. It's so <laughs> ugly. And I slash it um, right across its chest. Good work. And I roar in its face and my baby arms go, Rah! <laughs> And they're not like they're disgusting looking because it's hell. Oh yeah. So. And they're also bloody now too. So yeah. That. <laughs> it is going to come back at you with a multi attack. Yep, 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 yep. At least it might not kill me. So that's Both cool. claws miss, and the bite again is a natural twenty. But my AC is 20. That means I block it, right? No. Unfortunately, <laughs> the total is uh, 27, and also it's an automatic. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> 9, uh, 18, 22 piercing damage from the bite. Where did that uh, 20 points of land hands go? 30, 30 points, and oh. uh, they were well spent, as it turns out. <laughs> yeah. much. Very much so. And that will oh, be this oh Hezra's turn. Good. Jarvis. Jarvis is going to fourth level sleep. And that is. <laughs> this guy in his sleep, I love it. I that love is. It. Uh, sleep is a first level. So two, four, six. An additional 68 on top of. Uh, can't find it. Where is What's it? the radius? 90 feet. So it's anything within Oh, sorry, it's 20, no, it's uh, 20 feet distance, but 20 feet, uh, 90 feet away, but 20 feet radius. So I should be able to get it between both of them. Okay. Um, Is it anything, and, or can you declare people unaffected? I can, it should be, I'm, I'm like 90% sure it's, I declare. Um, let me reread it again. Because I'm on one of them, so I'm just curious. I'm standing right in front of one of them. <laughs> Y'all sleep. Doesn't it start with the lowest HP? Uh, I got I got bad news. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you can designate. Enemies. I'm pretty sure I can't. Uh, read. Read. Subtract. Why does it not? It Let's put pressure does. on him to read better. I don't see spell spend creatures in a magical slumber. This control. Uh, this is how many hit points a creature spell can affect creatures within 20 feet point of view that you choose within range. Okay, I go. missed that line like three times. So yeah, I can choose. So it's 5d8 plus 6, uh, 68. So 11d. Uh, yep. I'm gonna roll that in Discord chat. Good call. Roll good. I will. Oh, I will. 48. Unfortunately, your your sleep spell has no effect. On oh. I, I I hate to be a Debbie Downer here, but it's everybody affected. It's a point you choose within range, but not people. Did he read it wrong? Two creatures within twenty feet of a point. Oh shit! Because he said of your choice. Point. Oh no. Yeah, it's creatures within twenty feet of a point you choose within range are affected in ascending order, ignoring unconscious creatures. Starting with a creature with the lowest hit points, each creature affected by the spell falls unconscious. The sleeper takes damage. Subtract each creature. The creature's hit points must fall. Any Man, sleepers? Shit. Yeah. So, hold on. How much was it? Oh, 48. Fuck. Starts 48. with the lowest, right? Oh, fuck. Yeah. Yeah, so, so, how so much did you take away, Kairos? 13. Then I'm awake. So I don't know how many hit points the thing I'm on has. So, 35 are left after me. You have more than 35. I do. Okay, you're good. Yeah. We got one sleeper. If you're a sleeper, remember your sleeper. Oh, motherfucker. Just <laughs> Sorry, guys. It won't be hard to forget. How do hey, I know you're... if I'm a sleeper? 
you're not a sleeper. Uh, you're out of range. You're good. And you're you're Jerry, who has like <laughs> yeah, and you have a billion hit points. A billion hit points. Um. Cool, but it worked. Fuck. Your sleep worked. Okay, Gary, sleep. I'll send I'll send you the reading rainbow links after this. Okay. I, oh, and the best part, I'm hasted. I'm the fastest sleeper you've ever seen. Oh, Kairos is, I, is. I drop to the ground in blink of an eye. He goes. <laughs> seeing, seeing Kairos fall asleep, to start driving towards him. Just extremely quick. So I still breathing. have my action or my distance. It's not even concentration. You can't even drop it. I don't think. No, I have to shake him to wake him up. <laughs> Thank God it's not concentration, or he would have dropped my haste. I would have been stunned and asleep. You should just firebolt him. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want him to die. Normally, I would be on on board with this, but I don't look good. Yeah, Jerry, and it's your turn. Oh, actually, uh, I know what I can do. I guess I'll try to harpoon the one that's near Kairos again. Also, uh, how far Rolico away is that? Rolikos is no longer in his position. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not on the claw anymore. So you could switch if you wanted to. But the, the claw is attached to the to the vehicle, and you're still within range of one of them. It got out of the claw. It got out of the claw. Got it. Um, can I? Is it still within 15 feet? Yes. Okay, I'll try to use the claw. Okay. God damn, uh, I'm not gonna get it. Uh, Plus ten. It's a plus Tw ten. Twelve. Uh, no. <laughs> Grasps at the air, almost grabs Rollercos. Rollercos. Um, I'm gonna try and thigh master grip this thing and try to cut off another one of these spikes. Suzanne Summers. Right here. Right. Yeah. Woo. And that was a sleight of hand or survival. Sleight of hand. Slide of hands. Plus it's a uh, twelve. Uh, that is the not the DC. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you are good. The demon uh, swings at you. Looks like it's was trying to attack you as you try to slice off another uh, another spike. So. It is its turn. It's going to make some attacks on you, Rollercoast. Okay. How does it reach me? Can it like reach this? Back? Okay. It'll only get the claws, so that's good. Uh, 19 and 18. Yes and yes. Nine and fourteen slashing damage, so twenty-three. Twenty-three. Kairos, you're asleep. Yup. Okay, use your next action as well to sleep again. Yeah, I sure do. I, okay. I'm getting those Z's in. <laughs> Quick. Yeah, he's already in REM. I only need thirty minutes for a short rest <laughs> even this fast. Uh. It's now the <laughs> Hezru's turn, uh -huh. and it's going to uh, yeah. make a run at Jarvis, who's 25 feet away. Fascinating. Jarvis. We take a snore of opportunity. It's going to be 15 and a 16 on the claws. Um, so I'm going to use my reaction to, oh no, that's only to do a dexterity saving throw on that juke. Just kidding. Uh, what is it? 15 and a 16? The 15 just hits, and the 16 hits. Because my mage armor is, yeah, 15. And that's a 17 on the bite. The bite is 14 piercing damage, and 
I'm gonna shield. 23 slashing damage on the claw. I'm gonna shield whichever one would have come first. Can you shield after I give you the damage and after you hit? Well, I would have done it on the first one. Wait, you what do you... Oh. You, you can't, like, what, read me... I'll just look at it. Oh, up. I see what you're asking. Like, it, once you started reading the damage, I can't technically call it. It just says invisible magical... Uh, one reaction you take when you're hit by an attack or targeted by the magic missile spell. Invisible barrier magic force appears to protect you until the start of your next turn. You have a plus five bonus to Yeah, I'm going to say, like... Like, if you're getting hit, I would have been fine with you doing it, like, after I said... Before you called the damage. Okay, yeah. that's my bad for delaying. I was, I was, I would have done it no matter what the damage was, so, but yeah, that's fair. Um, all right. Uh, what was the second set of damage? It was 23 total slashing. Okay. Cool. Yeah, we this is your turn, thing. Jarvis. Make a constitution saving throw because the stench of this thing is unbearable. And make a con save for haste. Oh yeah, con saves for haste. So sixteen on the on the stench. Okay, you're good. And then on the haste, I have um, advantage on my transmuter stone. Transmuter Stone gives me oh, proficiency in all constitution saving throws. Okay. Cool. And you still want me to... I'm still making one for the haste? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, 14. Good. Uh, what would you like to do? I am going to fire three magic missile rounds. And uh, one At of them is going one? to hit, one of them is going to hit Kairos. Ooh, fun for for one d four. And it's going to be one point of damage. Nice. When you want magic missile to be low, and the other two are going to go for the Hezaru that's attacking Kairos. Okay. Six. Uh, that's the one that attacked you now, right? Yeah, yes. actually, that is the one that yeah, attacked okay. me. Yes. Just making sure I was taking some notes. Uh, I apologize, Kyra. It's actually two points of damage because it's 1d4 plus one per. So. And additional two to the other guy. Jerry, you can claw again if you like. Do you want to do something else, Jarvis? Am I within, like, if I, am I in melee range? Like, um, yeah. am I in melee range of him? Yeah. Reaction, okay. I'm just yeah, gonna... I'll try to claw again. Do you want to leave opportunity? What do you want to do? No. No, I'll stay there. Nat twenty. For my buddy. Nice job. You get him. He's clawed. He's Am I clawed? What? Do I, do I dodge the claw? Make a deck save. Uh, twenty-one. Yeah, you're fine. Okay, roller coaster. Your turn to choppa choppa. I'm going for another uh, slicey slice. 16? Yes. You get another one. You have two now. I'm tossing them in the bag of holding so I don't have to hold on to them. Perfect. So now its turn. It's going to try to escape. And a 13 to escape passes. Does, passes so it escapes yep. again? Yep. All right. Kairos, sleep, sleep. Awake. No, you're awake. <laughs> um, I wake up, still in pain. Why do I keep hurting? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and second level cure wounds myself before I get up, so I'm still laying down right now. I imagine you get hit, wake up, and you go. Oh, and then Not just... anymore. That's what I used to do. What now, do you do? my baby hands start caressing my face. That's so creepy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I didn't think this would be that creepy, but it's super creepy. You open the door, Jake. You I open did. The door. I did. We're walking I didn't through think it together. It I didn't think it through, if I'm being honest. <laughs> so that gives me 12 points. Um, <clears throat> and I oh, get up, look around. How close is the the Hezru that was that ran after Jarvis? Uh, it's probably about 25 feet away. Ah, damn. Can't quite get to it. In you that case... Oh, I'm hasty. you have extra I can totally, from... yeah. yeah. I can totally get there. Okay. Um, so I run at him. Yep. And uh, I jump on him, and I try to rip a sp rip one of his spines out. Okay. Uh, make a athletics check. I assume you want to try to rip a spike Works off. Works for me. Works for me. It's going to be a difficult DC. I feel you. It did not pass it. Okay. <laughs> that was a 10. <laughs> I rolled a 3. It is now its turn. And it is going to bite at Jarvis. That. Oh, yeah. That what? Nothing. You want to shield myself. it? I will if. I can call the shield when you After, say the yeah. DC. Yeah. yeah. It misses, so no need. It's going to claw at Kairos. Jesus Christ, that's a miss and a hit of 23. That is 9 slashing damage from the claw. Kairos. Yep, got it. Can you stop hurting my friend? Jarvis, it's your turn. Um... You could attempt to get on your bike and taunt it. Well, I'm still on my bike. Yes, so Must you could attempt yeah. to taunt it if you yeah. want. Yeah, I'll do that. Or cast a sleep spell. No, nope, not doing that anymore. I don't have any more fourth level spell slots or third Use level. Use a fifth level. I don't have... Hey, I only got 14 HP. It only, I can't, I can't probably wait. a level one would do it. I can't wait till Jarvis casts an eighth level sleep spell at the end of this game. <laughs> I think I learned like my lesson. Zariel. I think I learned my lesson on the sleep spell. And sleep spells just don't work for me. I'm just going to get rid of that goddamn spell. Like an archduke, he's going to cast sleep. It'll be great. Oh, man. And I yeah, I just learned also sleep can... I can put myself to sleep if I do something stupid. So there's that. Um, yeah, no, I'm just going to do a uh, burnout while Kairos is right there. Um, do you want to taunt this thing? Yeah. Do you want to say anything to it? Uh, yeah, actually I do. Um, I'm going to yell. Do what, did, Have they spoken in any languages? Uh, oh, wow. They're just snarling and making guttural noises. And they are demons. And do you so speak you know abyssal? I do. You do? I do. Are you the only one who speaks Abyssal? I believe so. Okay. Yeah, they're basically talking about eating your soul and your guts and bathing in your children's blood and stuff like that. Beautiful. In Abyssal, I'm going to tell him that we're going to take every last one of his teeth. Okay. Excellent. Make a... Uh, let's see. The DC. Go ahead and make a persuasion check. There will be no persuading. We will be doing it. Um, persuasion check was a 10. Okay. Doesn't seem to be convinced. Business. And you're going to leave the range of this beast? Yes. Okay. It does not hit. Beautiful. Jerry, this thing is no longer clawed and grasped and restrained. You want to try again? Um, so it's pretty easy for it to get out, I guess. Yes. Yeah, I think I'll just get out and I'll get out of the vehicle and just chase it and try to hit it with my... Um, let's see. I'll try to chop one of its uh, spikes off. Make a sleight of hand check. Because you're trying to do this carefully. Ah, okay. Because you don't want to damage the spike. Can I just take some swings at it with my uh, mace? Or, for, sorry, with my maul and just try to, like, get it prone first? Or is that going to do too much damage? 
how are you going to get it with your mall you're going to get it prone yeah uh you can does your you can try to like tackle it uh i think i'm i'm just going to hit it with my mall okay uh, Uh, 16? Yes. 14 damage. Okay. Taking another swing. Uh, it's 21. Eh. Uh, 11 damage. Chuck uh, yells out, Hey, be careful out there, you fools. You're going to damage the merchandise. <laughs> and uh, that just means that the DC went up for a slight of hand check. Kind of sounded like Lando Calrissian there. Oh. Smooth Thanks. talker. Rollercoast. All right, I am going to make another slide of hand check and try to get the third spike off. Uh, 18? Yeah, that's just what you needed. <sighs> that was with the DC going up. Nice work. You have three now. All right, and then I am going to attempt... Is this thing moving currently, or is it stopped? It's moving. Can I try to, like... You mean the... The, the one I'm on. Or no, no, no. The, the one I'm riding. Yeah, the Hezra's Hezra. moving around. Um, I'm going to attempt to, like, gracefully get off. Okay. It's going to take a opportunity attack if you're leaving its range. Yeah, I'm going to try to jump as far as I can. I don't okay. know the jump mechanics. Uh, it fucking doesn't... That's a 13 to hit. That's... No. Yeah. Uh, How yeah. far can one jump? It's your athletics. Jump. My athletics is plus three. So, what is it? It's my four, strength four, is only an eleven, but my athletics is plus three because I'm proficient. A standing jump is half your strength score. That's right. Okay, so five feet. I think. Now I'm questioning myself, but yeah, I believe that's it. That sounds right. Because and then I will running jump is your full strength score, I believe. Yeah. And then I will move however much feet left. I have a thirty foot move speed. It uses Eight. half your half mine to jump. I think so. So I'd have fifteen feet left to get away. Uh, you're pretty close to the machine, so you can start getting up on it. I do not want to get on the machine. Oh, you don't want to. No, no, no. I just want to get away from this thing. Oh, okay. I can move faster than the machine can <laughs> if I need to run. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm not going to get on it. Well, you, can, got this. you can move faster than the machine when you're hasted. Well, even with feline's agility, at least once I can get really far. Okay. Yeah. And All jumps right. are, you just move one foot per foot you jump. Just as a heads up, I wanted to know. Oh. So it's only if you jump so five you feet, it's twenty-five five feet for a long jump. Yeah. Okay. Then yeah. Then I get twenty-five feet away. Okay. This thing's gonna go after you, Jerry, because it's its turn. It's its turn now. It's gonna bite with a seventeen to hit. Nope. Check that. Check that nineteen to hit. Yep. And then a 14 and a 17. So only the bite hits. Real bad damage rolls. So that's seven piercing damage on the bite. Kairos. Um, I'm still right next to one, right? Yeah. Great. Uh, my baby hands caress my face again as I cast a level one cure wounds this time on myself while I simultaneously uh, try to rip a spine out of his back. So the heal is 10 points. And then the athletics check is 19. Okay, not good enough. Not good enough. But I got a good grip on it this time. I'm gaining confidence. Sure. Uh, Chuck, 
Chuck, uh, uh, when he sees Relicos run away, he goes, How many do you have? How many? Three? And, uh, they start looking around like, What are you guys doing? type of looks. That's now the Hezru's turn. It's gonna go after you, Kairos. You don't run from a fight. Oh no, you have three. I'm distracted. <laughs> now you do. A 14 and a 22 on the claws. Uh, the 22 does hit. Yes. And a 20 on the bite. My AC is 20. Ooh. With the plus two from haste. With the plus two. From oh, sad days. Uh, 15 piercing damage on the bite. And 9 slashing damage on the claw. Okay. You still up? Yep. Okay. Good. Jarvis. Can I do a stunt to drive at the one in front of Kairos? And kind of do like a tail whip and try to like whack him flying in the air. Uh, let me look and see if you can. Quick point of order, just because I, I couldn't live myself because I know about it. Do, do they still stink or because I passed? You're immune to it, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just, just one check. Just Appreciate one sure that. that wasn't yeah. getting swept under the rug. Um, it's known to happen with me. I forget it's things like that. Known to happen with me, too. That's yeah. why I say it. <laughs> uh, so you want to tail whip this thing? Yeah, it just says, like, one free vehicle stunt, such as a wheelie or burnout. So it wasn't specific on what I can't do. Um, sure. We're going to... You make your dex check first. Sorry, Brian. That one. You fall cool. prone and you're off the bike. Sorry, now. you. <laughs> okay, I, I was worried that like with a that one I might hit him. <laughs> cool. No. I'm okay with falling prone. And you're off the bike. That's okay. I just didn't want to hit Brock Kairos. That's what I was afraid of. With okay. uh... Jerry, it's your turn. Um, I'm gonna try to do a sleight of hand. Also. Okay. My sleight of hand's not that good though. With a knife or something, yeah. Nine. Okay, not not enough. Um, That'll be your action. That, you have a bonus that, action. Well, is that considered an attack? That's an action. Okay, no, I don't have two. I don't have two of those. Okay. Uh, Rollercoast. Uh. I I am going to take out the bow and use my War Priest ability so I can use my bonus action for an extra attack. Yep. And Are you going three. with the one that's bloodied? No, I'm going out the one that's going after Kairos because one of them's on the ground. Like, things don't look like they're going well on that <laughs> side of the battlefield. Nah, <laughs> we're fine. We're fine. <laughs> so yeah, I, would call, I would call that Hezru scuffed as a yeah. descriptor. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to take three sharpshooter attacks at it. Okay. Uh, 16. Yep. Higher. And 16. Yep. So that is the D8. So, 20 damage on the first hit, 19 damage on the second, and 20 damage on the third. 59. Oh, 59 total. Now it looks bloodied. Alright. Hezru's turn. Uh, Jake, you're muted. Oh. Now it looks bloodied, thank you for telling me um it's now the hazard's turn if you if you're done rollercoast uh i'm gonna move another 20 feet back okay it's now the hazard's turn it's gonna go after jerry with the bite it's not gonna work 
and a 19 and a 9. 19 hits, I assume. Yep. That is 15 slashing damage from the claw. Alrighty. I already had you make a stench check, right, Jerry? Nope. No? Okay. Go ahead and make a constitution since I Constitution? Forgot. Yeah. 13? Not good enough. You're poisoned until uh, the start of its next turn. <laughs> so that just means you have disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks as you retch and dry heave. <laughs> yeah. I can really go over some beans right now. Beans! Mm. Kairos. Um, <clears throat> well, seeing this thing start to turn into a pincushion, I feel pretty excited about it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go balls out and take my sword out and uh, start slashing. Okay. All right, let's go. First one is a twenty-three. Yep. Second one is a nineteen. Yep. Third one is a. 17. Yep. Okay. First attack is a 14 damage. Second attack is 11 damage. Third attack is a second level Divine Smite. And he is a fiend. Yes. So he will be taking more damage. Um, did I take any damage when I fell off the bike? No. Okay, cool. Okay, that's all these. Ego damage. Garbage rolls. Yeah, just want to make sure I didn't have to roll my constitution. 18 points of damage. I rolled a 1, 2, 3, 4 on my d8s. <laughs> 43 points of damage? Only 43 points. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That sounds Anything right. Anything else? Um, damn it. No, that, that, that I believe is all I got. Let me double check and just make extra sure. Yep, that's all I got. Okay. It's now going to come back at you Kairos yeah I was hoping that it wouldn't have a chance to do so that 26 on yeah. the bite yeah and a natural one on one claw and a 19 on the second here's the thing though uh, that second attack is probably going to be with advantage oh I should roll the bite first is what you're saying yeah in well, fact you not. really don't even roll Eight piercing damage? Yeah, I'm at two. Uh oh, so I'm, fuck. So I'm down. So, uh, the, the, so the second attack was a one and a 19, so that, that'll be a hit. Oh, wait, no. Am I still, do I still have that AC bonus from haste if I'm unconscious? I probably lose it, huh? Yep, then that definitely hits, and I'm not really wielding a shield when I'm laying down either. Yep, yep, so it hits. It hits. So both claws hit then. Okay, okay. From the first claw, you take... Well, I'm already down. So these are death saves that I'm losing yeah. now. So, so two... Dead? Two death saves. Yeah. Hey. Well, they're, they're melee attacks, right? Yeah, so death you're dead. Saves. Yeah, yeah. It says that on yeah. my shirt. Yeah, no. Oh. Kairos, Kairos is dead dead. Kairos is dead dead. Wait, what? what? Melee attacks are auto-crit. Melee attacks on unconscious oh, are auto-crit, which are two death saves, and that was two claw attacks on Kairos. Fuck. I took a gamble. I knew what I was doing. Dude, We're that gonna... sucks. I'm sorry. I'm not. This is D&D. Shit happens. You know how I feel about dead characters. <laughs> I know you get to roll a new one. I get to roll a new one! <laughs> or you guys will find a way to Shit. resurrect me. That's out of my control. But whatever happens, happens. Rollercoast. I for it. Okay. Real... You just got your baby arms, damn it. They were pretty great. 
But I get to roll up a new character who's already in hell. <laughs> it's true. The doors are open, Jake. They're yeah. already open. <laughs> you play a fucking imp. Just wait. Roller coaster. I don't even know what I'm going to do. <laughs> yeah. So, you don't have any... I'm reading... I don't know if this mattered for um, Kairos because yeah. I was reading to instead of listening to that. But I was reading on a couple forums because it doesn't specifically say. And I was reading a couple posts that say that the caster can continue the haste while he's unconscious. I don't know how that would narratively work because you're moving quickly. You know, like the haste makes you move supernaturally fast. And that's why you get a boost to your AC. Gotcha. I would say you could keep concentrating on it. And yeah. if I got brought back to life next gotcha. time, okay. I would still be hasted. But while I'm unconscious, that makes sense. Okay. I'm, I'm a Jake on this one. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. Dead too. So well, he's not yeah. like now. Vibrating. Now the haste well, is yeah. gone. <laughs> no, yeah. I just I didn't know if that plus two was a matter of him being alive or oh, dead. Oh sure, so sure, sure, sure. I, I, I was I, I was it. looking it up to see if like. Fair point. That was a pretty big decision right there. So. I get it. Uh, Jarvis, it's your turn. Um, Jarvis is. Can Jarvis position the sleep <laughs> twenty feet radius without hitting anyone in his party? Where this dude is, that just like the one that killed yeah kairos yeah you can okay so i'm gonna do that and cast a first level sleep yep roll good yeah seriously <laughs> he didn't he say he was not Your gonna use level? sleep anymore yeah, yeah just, i lied just kill <laughs> i, fucking I love don't him. have any spells 24 he falls asleep thank fucking god <laughs> Uh, I've oh, burned never... all my high-level damage spells. Yeah, okay, you're fine. Uh, Jerry, you got one I'm, I'm, in, I'm locked in with one, right? Yep, yep, yep. Um, I'm going to, out of the corner of my eye, I see Kairos, you know, his soul, like, leave he him gets, or something. He gets, uh, yeah, he gets bitten, falls to the ground, and then this thing just claws into his body and, like, rips off plate armor. Um, so I'm gonna go into a rage. No. <laughs> yes. Uh, and I'm still, I'm still at. So what? What happens? Because in bone, in um, in rage, I have advantage on certain things. Like, would I have, would I have disadvantage, or would it cancel out the disadvantage on attacks? If or? you have, if you do, um, uh, reckless, which gives you advantage. It would cancel out your disadvantage on the poison. Um, Does that make sense? Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll attack. Rec I'll attack. Yeah, yeah, I have reckless. Okay. Um, I'll attack recklessly on the one I'm attacking. So, which one are you? Attacking? How far away am I from Kairos? So, the one that attacked Kairos, you're about twenty-five feet away. Okay. You're right. the one that attacked Kairos is asleep now. Got it. You still want to attack it, or are you attacking the one? No, next I'm attacking the one that's uh, locked okay. in with over okay. by the where it was clawed before. So that's a 25. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> I can see Kairos thinking about what his next character is going to be. Rollercoaster is <laughs> going to save him. It's uh, 12 on the first hit. And I don't think um, I don't think Rollercoaster has revivify yet. No, I'm not that good yet. So that's 15 damage on the second hit. How um, much damage total? I forget what I said. Uh, I, I think 11, 11 on the first one. 26? Yeah. Um, and do, does a, would a potion of healing do anything for Kairos? No. Okay. I think, I think like, Cleric at some point has a spell where he can, they could slow down death, and yeah. then we could try to revive him. But I don't even know if Rollercoast even has that spell yet. Okay. Yeah, there's um, one that stops the decay process. But you still need one of the resurrection spells to... Yeah, we'd have to back. find like someone who can cast Revivify. There's plenty of people in hell, and I'm not being sarcastic, that would gladly re revive Kairos for, you know, something. In exchange yeah. for things. Rollercoast. 
Uh, saying that one asleep, I'm gonna go back to attacking the one that Jerry is on with two sharpshooter shots. Okay. Actually, first, bonus action hunter's mark. Okay. Because that's something I forget to do. That's thinking like a ranger. <laughs> I'm starting to get concerned, so I don't... Hunter's mark, <laughs> forgetting hunter's mark is also thinking like a ranger. <laughs> so the first hit is a 15... Nope. Second hit is a 23. Yep. Twenty-four points of damage. Nice. Very hurt. Very injured. That's it for me. And this one's gonna run. Now that Kairos is down, it's gonna run at Jarvis. Jarvis. Yeah. Is it leaving Jerry? I'm waiting range? to see if it's gonna hit me. No, this one's not with. Uh, this is not the one that's. So fighting the one Jerry. it woke up. Oh it's yeah, asleep. it's asleep. Thank you. Shit. Yeah, that's fine. Wait. Oh, I thought it was the one that the other one. That one's stupid yes. sleepy one. Ha ha. Right, Kairos. Spell finally worked. You're dead, and you see <laughs> the light of horror shining before you. And then it gets snuffed <laughs> out. Like that, it's that. That's his soul leaving. It like. gets snuffed out. Uh, and before you, you see a very large and imposing devil on a throne in a volcano, it seems like, a volcano, like with anvils everywhere. And this fiend is red. It's got large wings, horns. It's basically your classic devil. And it says to you, leaving so soon. Uh, yeah, probably. It doesn't look very uh, hospitable around here. How do you want to uh, continue your journey? That you, are, I mean, you and your friends are on. Give me just a minute here. Change of surroundings. Uh, who are you? I'm <clears throat> Bell. Right. Give me one second. I, uh, like I said, you know how I feel about character deaths. I'm going to leave it up to the dice. <laughs> <laughs> Well, well, I'm uh, not going to lie, I came to hell to kill a bunch of demons and devils, and you're just the next one in line, it looks like. And I just kind of charge him and uh, wield the, the might of Thor, or of horror, and... He stops yep. you. Yeah, no, I'm sure he does. <laughs> and you're frozen, and he says, if you'd like to live on, I can send you back to your body... But there will be a price. Yeah, horse said that uh, this was a bad deal. I'm not gonna take it. Not with okay. you. <clears throat> he grabs you. His his large hand grabs your soul, and throws you out the top of the volcano. And uh, the next thing you feel is you're sinking down into some red, muddy water. And that's the last thing you see experience and experience <laughs> all right now's kairos's turn <laughs> kairos Fresh again the opportunity dm uh hezru the hezru's turn that's with jerry it's gonna attack jerry it's uh 18 to hit jerry it has advantage oh yeah uh the tie goes to the attacker right yep yeah it hits and then a 26 on one claw. No, it doesn't hit. <laughs> and a, what about a 27? <laughs> okay. Ooh. Two tens on the bite. 24 piercing damage on the bite. Oh. And...
27 slashing for the clawed attacks. Yeah, Jerry's hurting. Did you half those? Yeah. Okay. I didn't realize these things were so strong. I thought, I thought we'd be done with these these two things so easily. Well, they're both very injured, Jarvis. Uh, Jarvis is going to cast Mind Spike, and that's a 15 Wisdom save. On which one? On the, the one, one that's, that's up and kicking. No. 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 I put him to sleep for a reason. Roll I want him to 19. stay that way. Shit. Um, just Mind Spike have a half on a failed save you also always know half as much on a successful cool 3d8 halved and that is really five wow uh half nine so it takes it's the would it be four five four, four. yeah four. four takes a whopping four damage okay Jerry, swing away. <laughs> oh, man. 11. Uh, am I still poisoned? No. Went away. Okay, cool. Man. Uh, so that, yeah, that was advantage, and then we, even with advantage, it was still 13? Nope. All right, second swing. Uh, 20, uh, 22? Yes. 13 damage. Describe how you kill this thing. I like rear back. I'm like <laughs> with my mace and I go Shoo, like that. And it goes like it goes like in its I almost ripped the, <laughs> the headphones out <laughs> of the computer. Uh, and it, it like I jam my the mace like into its mouth and it's just like down its throat like <laughs> and then I pull it out and all these Guts, it like, does have a mouth. large mouth for a uh, a large enough mouth for a um, mall, so yeah, that's pretty gnarly. And it's dead. And then I'm like, so let's uh, Kairos. Well, we don't know he's dead yet. Um, I think we're there's... technically out of combat right now right yeah there's one sleeping for an hour right? <clears throat> i say we surround this this guy real quick he i only put him to sleep and uh i think we, we all could, hit him at the same time we could just leave him here we could just leave yeah jerry and I, well jerry immediately starts cutting he, how many spikes are on these things uh, i already you, got three you only need three. might be able to sell them can we sell uh, so them for additional spikes are negligible negligible chuck uh is yelling let's go let's go what were you waiting for get your friend yep yeah, i grab kairos and try to drag him onto the vehicle i try to slap him a little bit thinking my spell might have accidentally put him to sleep nothing nothing do you grab his weapon i um, don't i'll grab uh yeah i'll grab it and bring it back with me okay all right uh, so you hop on the machine, and Lulu's not with you because she stayed with Mad Maggie to discuss. Mad Maggie wanted a uh, a recap of Lulu's memories that she has because she wants to relish Zeriel's fall, more details of Zeriel's fall. And you head back on the machine and make it into Fort Knucklebones with the corpse of Kairos. What do you guys do? I'm going to ask Lulu if she can revive him. I don't know her capabilities, but she's an angelic elephant. Maybe she knows a thing or two. Lulu sees and goes, Oh no! Oh no, I wish I could. I just don't remember. I don't even know if I had the ability. Oh, this is so sad. It's alright. I can't either, so I feel you. You're not even upset. Oh, I'm very upset. This is... Is that why your voice is changing? Yet. Yep. Okay. Yep, my voice gets... Jarvis, calm down. You're going to dehydrate yourself. My voice gets deeper when I get upset. <laughs> I'm saying you're inconsolable, and you're just bald. <laughs> yeah. 
I just liked it saying that because your face was like smiling. <laughs> Gary, so I think. Oh, Gary, I was. I was, I was Gary. Gary was laughing. Jarvis is not laughing. I know, I know, but that's why I was saying that about uh, yeah. Jarvis because I was confused. That yeah. makes sense now. I was just joking. Um, and uh, Chuck uh, says, "Your friend dead now." Uh, unfortunately, it seems so. Unless you know how to bring somebody back to the dead, Chunka. No. Clonk? Would any of our characters know the difference no. between, like, unconscious and dead dead? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've been unconscious multiple times. And I'd say you, you all have had a fair bit of experience killing things. That's true. I guess that no. makes sense. <laughs> so what do you guys do with the body? Um, I'm gonna ask Mad Maggie if she knows how to bring somebody back from the dead. Oh uh, well, yes, I do. Uh, but uh, it is a mighty price you will uh, pay if you are to do that. How how mighty are we talking here? All of your souls. <laughs> I've got two soul coins. I'm willing to trade here. Oh no, I want I want your souls. Oh no. Oh no, that one. What oh, if we nah, bring you man. someone else's nah. soul? No. <laughs> oh no, I want your soul. How much are our souls worth in the soul coins? Well, since I know you, they're worth more. What? That's why. Because <laughs> I like knowing my souls. Man, I can't believe Kara's dead. Like, why? Did... She, she walks over to you, Jerry, she's, and she's just as tall as you, and she puts her abnormally long arms around you, and her fingers and hands are so long and spindly, they reach almost... She can one-armed almost put her one arm around you. <laughs> Can't believe he's gone. She smells he's of mothballs. So cool. Mothballs and old cat food. Just Do I like it? Cars was like my big brother. Do you think any of these beans can bring him back to life? I don't think so. The last one spawned a pyramid. What makes you think it's going to bring him back to life? I don't know. These beans seem and to They've spawn done two different things old... so far. I don't did know what guys, they do. Did you guys really <laughs> like him, though? I liked Cairo. I mean, I liked him. Just not enough to give your soul for a brother. I mean... Yeah. That's my soul. Yeah. Not, I'm willing like to give that all much. of my soul. Listen, I'm not. I'm not complaining. I'm not criticizing. This is hell, after all. It sounds a little like criticizing. This is not hell. Good. Everyone's. Everyone's a little selfish. I think. I think out of. I think we should, since he fought to to keep this pyramid here. I think we should bury him in the or put him in the sarcophagus <laughs> yes. in the pyramid. <laughs> <laughs> she goes, well, I did just take care of the mummy, Lord. You want to bury him in the sarcophagus, and le you want me to leave the pyramid there? Yes, as a as a memory for, for, this, for this battle and for Kairos. You'd have to give me two soul coins to leave it there. <laughs> oh, jeez. I mean, you died fighting for, fighting for your people. Well, he died doing course. what we agreed to do. <laughs> what the, was in the agreement. <laughs> yeah, um, uh, I'd give you the two soul coins to bring him back to life, but I'm not giving it to you to just leave him in a tomb. That seems like a waste of soul coins. Okay. Uh, anything else we can come to an agreement on to leave him in the tomb? Make me an offer. Do you have anybody else's souls you want? Can we bring somebody to you? Hmm. We do you remember that one time we killed the guy that, you know, when we first met that you didn't, you know, like? You didn't know that at when you did it, so it has no bearing on this <laughs> negotiation. There is a, uh... Haruman. Haruman? I heard that he was 
a lieutenant of Zeriel's. There's a place called the Hiramon's Hill. And, uh, yeah. And she starts describing it. There's trees made of iron with spikes on them, and there's bodies crucified on the trees. And Lulu says, Yeah, that's the place I was going to send. That's where we're going to go next. I don't know if we oh. can go there now without Kairos. This is terrible. Is there anyone else? Like, it's just the four of us now? And I usually like to stay out of the battle, because the DM forgets about me. And but did we forget about her again <laughs> in this battle? I, no, I, no. Had, I had a narrative reason. No. Yeah, I had uh. the thought amidst the battle, but I ignored it. Thank you for ignoring it, because I yep. justified it later. Yep. Completely justified <laughs> it. Uh... I honestly can't believe we lost someone in that battle. I, I, I was in that battle just thinking like, oh, I just got to grab them and cut some spikes off. And then well, I didn't that's... think it was I, I didn't think it was as dire. We, we I mean, didn't after go into Pyros it. went oh, down yeah. like three times. <laughs> and help. also, uh, you guys could have like stayed Left. on your machines, taken off, whatever. I said at the time. I knew I had two health. Yeah, I also Kairos. Yeah. No, I know. I know Brian knew I what he was doing, choice. but I, I'm, just, I'm just saying I'm, my perspective. I was just like, ah, oh, so I'm just getting some spikes off of these. I'm just really glad <laughs> my sleep like... isn't what got him killed because I would have felt so bad. <laughs> Honestly, I thought that's what I was going to happen. <laughs> Mad Maggie says to Lulu, like, well, I do have some uh, potential replacements if you are interested. Uh, they will cost you a soul coin to buy them off me. How about we sell this shiny sword to you? And well, I maybe show the... whoever you pick will uh, want to mm. use his equipment. This is true. Uh, if we meet. The candidate. I'm not going to give you the soul coin before you. I don't want of a course, red cap of course, following kidding. us around. I would go insane. Of course. Of course. We'll okay, do this that. is going to be a red cap. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll, do... <laughs> we'll, we'll let you browse the merchandise. All right. Cairo should totally be like a devil. That'd and that's where we'll pick it up uh, next before week. Before we end it, just. So I don't forget. Can I grab my bean back from him? Yeah, you want to search his body for stuff? Just yeah. Like, I really want the bean. What are you taking from his body? This is so I morbid. I got. No, I'm it's just fine. I'm gonna take um, his bag for sure. Whatever's in his bag. So okay, I'll, I'll Brian, you, can you? I'll tell you, but I can send it to you as well. Yeah. yeah. The important things. Um, there's a soul coin in there. Um, there's my amulet. There's the sacrificial dragon dagger we got a long time ago that I've been holding on to. Its name is Fang, and it's not special in any way other than being pretty. There's Heaven's Fall, the mace um, that I had on me still. A potion of healing, a bunch of rations. Those are the only important things. But I will send you... You use your potion of healing to save yourself. Yeah, just copy-paste it to me or something. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I'll pay Okay. And you can pick and choose whatever you want from it. <laughs> yeah. And that's where we'll leave it. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, wait. It's a bummer. I feel like I'm the least bummed of ever. No, I, I would be. I would be. Really <laughs> I do know Brian, and I do know he's totally like, okay with rolling a new character. Yeah, you seem almost like I was. I get giddy even about asking it. if I could use a potion of healing because I'm like, seems like he wants to roll a new character. So. <laughs> I let the dice speak for me, and they spoke. And also, I love rolling on new characters. I don't sure. get a chance to do that very often. It's fun. Well, thanks for watching or listening. I hope everyone's just staying safe out there in Corona, COVID-19 land. And we'll be back next Monday, 7 p.m. Pacific, twitch.tv slash VentureVentures on Twitch, obviously. Um, yeah. It's a COVID-19 world. It is. Be good to others and be good to yourself as well. We'll see you next time, and everybody. stay at home. And stay at home. Yeah, stop going out. Get out of the beach. What are you doing? Just knock it off. See ya. <laughs>